wow. What the students are taught, you see, in our particular problems now about physics, there are many bigger numbers. The numbers are much bigger. It's hard to, the numbers are so enormous you can't count them directly. And so we've invented a fantastic array of tricks and gimmicks for putting together the numbers, adding, counting, checking, and so forth, without actually doing it the way I could describe what we're trying to do. If I say, I draw this and I draw that and I draw this and I draw that and I see where the end point is, we don't actually sit down and draw 7,000 arrows and find out where the end point, we have a way of figuring out where it comes, just like we don't actually count 415 pennies and 287 pennies to find out that you owe me 702 pennies. We do it by another trick. This are the tricks of mathematics and that's all. So that's the part I'm not going to worry about. We're not going to worry about that. So don't relax. You don't have to know mathematics. All you have to know is what it is. All it is is tricky ways of doing something which would be laborious otherwise. <laughs> so what the, it true that in the years we have developed enormous abilities in mathematics and it takes a long time to train the students and so therefore they're very highly educated in that but if you ask them why now we go back to the Mayans we ask them why why when you wait for fill up a tub eight times with 365 day markers it comes out that the Venus is up five times they don't know they don't understand it at all. The more accurately they can do it, the fact that they know that they have to change it by six days and so forth, adds nothing to their understanding of it. The student who has learned all this mathematics and is able to make these calculations, not only of Venus and the Mars, or the Sun, or the, the eclipses and everything else, is a super priest, doesn't know why any better. I and mean, he would explain it's nothing but counting days, he would be reduced to the truth on the one hand and to an honest statement that he doesn't understand it on the other hand and could tell somebody all about it who doesn't know how to count all these numbers so trickily and so cleverly as this priest students knew okay now probably I don't know about philosophy of Mayas we have very little information due to the efficiency of the Spanish conquistadores and uh, well mostly their priests who burned all the books they had hundreds of thousands of books, and there's three left, and one of them has this penis calculation. In it. So that's how we know about that. And uh, just imagine our civilization reduced to three books, the particular ones left by accident, which one, see? So, uh, anyway, I get off the subject. If I make this up now. What I'm saying now is just a story. Suppose now that the students would discuss, or people would discuss the possible meanings of this. Why? Then they would begin to think about, well, 8 times 365 is 2920. That's got two twos in it. Now, two is a lucky number, and it has two twos in it. <laughs> and then the nine represents the god of so-and-so, which is related to Venus, and so forth. And that would be a good argument. Then, but in another city, some other guys getting together have a different kind of an argument about it. They say, look, now, the fact that there's a 20 at the end, if I subtracted that away first, I get 2,900, which is especially good number from blah, 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 and so on. And they would have different theories. And then someone would come along and say, you know, it doesn't make any difference which one of these theories is right. We still have this fact to go along with. And that is our modern scientific point of view. In the earliest days of science, we got confused arguing philosophically what was a reasonable reason for nature of hoard a vacuum, or it seemed to be nice that you know, gods were doing it. There are different kinds of psychological reasons for thinking it probably is all right after you discovered what it was. These things were never useful for predicting what should happen next, and we soon learned not to make these arguments. It's useless. It doesn't add anything, and so we're not going to make my imaginary Mayan uh, arguments about the various gods that make the numbers. And so I'm left, if I'm a modern scientist, with a description of the situation. 